people. I got the one. Um, just sitting here chilling. Um, watching Big Bang Theory. Love that show. I am a nerd. I'm a big nerd. I was sitting up here really watching this. But, um, <clears throat> so, somebody asked me a question. I guess just trying to get to know me. Um, some of y'all ask me personal questions. I'm not telling certain personal business. And if it is who it involves, I'm not doing none of that. Um, no, I did give y'all a little bit of history about me, uh, you know. I mean, I'm treatment and all that, so. But as far as who am I talking to? It's not your business. Some things I'm not gonna tell you guys. Um, but I did make this video the reason why, because uh, somebody asked me what is my pet peeves when it comes to dating. A woman that talks too much. I love a woman to talk. Don't get me wrong. I love her to talk. I want you to talk. I want you to share your thing, your thoughts and stuff with me. But if you talk so much that I can't even hear myself, I'm not going to be a happy camper because I've really met too many women that do that. They talk a lot. And it's okay. Share your thoughts. But don't share too much of your thoughts. I don't like a woman to dress too, too, too sexy. You ain't got to show me everything. You know, it's like I'm a kid, like a kid. I want to unwrap it myself. It's like a gift. I want to wrap you myself. I don't want you showing everything to me all at once. So, if you show me everything, there's nothing for me to like, I know. Be like, oh, wow. You know, gotta leave something to be unveiled, you know. Can't put all your stuff out there. To some stuff, they like that. To some men, they like that. To me, I don't like that. Just looks too thirsty or needy. Another thing, pet peeve is I don't like a woman that is complaining and don't never change anything. If you don't change anything about it, stop complaining. Uh, and stop bringing up old shit, what somebody did. Let it go. If it's not happening in the present, right now, let it go. See, one problem is when the person moves on and get into the present life, y'all women wanna bring up old shit. That's for back then. That person might have changed. They might be not the same person anymore. So you cannot sit up here and give them, run them off of what happened like last year. You know, you can't see the good if you hold on to the bad. It's kind of like when I was a kid. I'm so used to that shit. When I was a kid, they never saw what I did good. They always saw what I did bad. And it was like, why do I need to do anything good or change anything? When that's what you see is the negative, the bad things I did. You gotta take, understand, a person's gonna do good shit and the person's gonna fuck up and do bad shit. But if you keep holding on to that bad shit, you'll never see the good that they really do. And sometimes you'll lose out because you just hold on to that. If you keep holding on what they did back then. Um, another pet peeve I do not like to share my food unless you are really seriously in a constant relationship. Uh uh. Mm -mm. I don't. I don't like you. Don't think you going to take your fork and put your fork on my plate and me not turn around and give you a whole lot of look and attitude. If we ain't together, don't you dare take your fork and put it in my plate and then eat off my plate. You play for your plate. I pay for my plate. If I'm taking you out on a date, what do I look like taking my fork and putting it in your plate? Y'all 
Ja, ja w sumie ja wiem, że to się. I mi ja to jest to shit, so that's just ridiculous. Look, I want to keep some of my own. I don't want to share everything I got. Don't put your mouth on my toothbrush. I don't care how much long I love you. We must kiss and all that if I'm with you. But I ain't sharing my toothbrush with you. There's some shit that you just don't share with each other. I don't care if you're a couple or not. You know, just because you might share a toy or whatever, doesn't mean you're going to sit up here and share my toothbrush with me. You you can share that mouthwash, but you're not going to put your mouth on my toothbrush. I really got to be in 100% like, I, I really don't know. I, I'm like Sheldon off of Third Rock and stuff. I mean, third, uh, Big Bang Theory. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really picky. So... I really got to know you, B. I don't want you to do that. Uh, another pet peeve is I don't like women that are too controlling. I like that you know I'm home with you. I'm yours. you mine. Or whatever. We together. Whatever. But damn it. Possessiveness is eternal. I'm a Sagittarius. I am not a piece of shirt. I am not a coat. I am not a pair of shoes. You do not own me. I own myself. God owns me more than I even own myself. So therefore, do not think I am like a piece of candy that you, or a piece of dollar of money. I am a human being. You do not own me just because we are in a relationship or I'm talking to you or not. You do not own me. You understand? I will respect my relationship with you, but I am not a piece of property. You do not own me. Understand that? Possessiveness is a big pet peeve with me. It will make me leave you in a heartbeat. That means snap of a finger, I'm done with you. I don't like to argue. That's another pet peeve. Some like to argue. I like to argue if it's going to lead to something. You know, something. Hey, I like to have that. I don't like you. Uh, you make me mad. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you too. You make me sick. You just lame. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love you. And then, you know, it starts getting you know, freaky moments. Yeah, I can deal with that. Arcing leading to sex. I can deal with that. But when you arguing and it ain't leading to that, and it's just. I didn't blink that on you. Like, once you started, womp, womp. I didn't already, you lost me. I didn't want it somewhere else. I didn't bleep that and went to a whole nother area. Probably went to another galaxy on you. And probably came back to see if you still was bitching. And if you still was, I probably still went back out into that same galaxy. See, you gotta have know how to project yourself somewhere else. I know how to do that, man. I wait. Child, bet you start cussing at me, calling me all kinds. I know how to blink my ass off or I will walk away. Another thing. I don't like all that extra, you know what I mean, the extra, right? You be just extra with shit, just like, oh my god, oh my god. Don't do that with me. I will leave you. I will leave you standing by yourself and let you embarrass yourself by yourself. That is a pet peeve I cannot stand. I hate them to be extra loud like they ain't seen their girlfriend or their homie and like like you just saw her yesterday but you sound, make it sound like you ain't seen her in like five years shit man you just saw her yesterday why y'all extra loud in the club like oh girl I ain't seen you you just saw her yesterday don't be extra and don't do that shit in the mall because I will walk off from there like, we might, I detour on you, I will, seriously, I would do a detour, where there's a cut, I will take it. So that's pretty much my pet peeves. I don't like girls to be one to argue when the football game is on. I mean, don't argue with the football game. Look, you can cuss me out, call me a dog, a hoe, a nigga, you ain't about shit, nothing. You can do that after the game. I'll take it all. Um, but don't do it with the game on. And don't be talking at the TV. Mm.
But as much as I love y'all guys, you know, I even have stuff friends. I'd be like, will you shut the fuck up? For an example, I got a homie, my roommate. She, she, she does it. And I she get on my nerves, but it's like, nigga, the game is right there. You ain't got to go far. The TV's right there. You extra loud. It's just something else. That's me. Ah, and don't buy me something and you eat what you buy me or you take what you give me. I can't stand that. That's a fool. I do not like that. I don't like somebody buying me something before I even open up what you bought me. You already opened up the shit. Why me buy me something and you're gonna open it for me? I can't stand that. It's like I asked for a soda and you pop my soda and drink it before you hand it to me. If you want the soda, get your own soda. You ain't asked for a soda. I did. Why you gotta drink? Pop my top on my soda. I didn't get the enjoyment just to go. Oh, yeah, you know. And get the first swallow out of my can. That shit. That. Mm, you just don't understand. That's some serious pet peeve, boy. I have serious bad pet peeves. I like public affection. I do. When I want to hold your hand, I don't mind it. But I don't like people to be all up on me. It's just. Give me some breathing room. But, you know, if we cuddling and all that, it's different. I mean, you gotta be extra like you need, like you need to be center of attention. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't need to be center of attention. I don't. When I was younger in my 20s, hell yeah, I wanted to be everybody's center of attention. Hey, look at me. Now, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm here. I made an entrance. Voila. Let the festivities begin. You know, I ain't, I ain't trying to make an entrance like some of y'all niggas do that. Especially in the club. Let me go put all this new gear on just to go to the club and sweat the shit out. Oh, another thing. Don't be trying to give me your purse. Your makeup, your chapstick, your lipstick, your eyeliner, all that to put in my pockets. My pockets was made for me. Your purse was made for you. So, therefore, I will hold your ID, maybe your chapstick and lipstick. But don't be trying to give me your whole damn makeup kit. I ain't finna do that. And don't be trying to leave me with your purse. You carried it in the club. I ain't say I want to hold it. I got a wallet I got to carry. I got money in my... I got my own stuff in my pocket. Y'all be thinking that we some goddamn compartment holders for you when you want to go to the club. You want to carry the purse, but you don't want to carry the purse inside, and then you don't want to hold it. I think I do that on purpose so people know that y'all with us. What the hell are you doing? Hold my purse, but... I'm going to the bathroom. Well, take that motherfucker with you. You're going to need it. Your lipstick and all that shit's in it. Why well, I need to hold it? I'm just saying. Because you're going to come back and like, shit, I should have took my purse. I need my purse. I'm just saying. This video is like 13 minutes and... And 13 minutes. So I've been talking for 13 minutes and I'm about to get off of here. Oh. So I'm hungry. Okay, I've been talking 14 minutes. I'm about to go, y'all. But uh, yeah, so there's my pet peeves for 2017. Y'all be real, be easy, love everyone. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, like, like. Oh, you see, it's cold in here. My nose got red. Like, like. like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, all right, love y'all. Peace.